When Danny has got away, Kiko up the inside. Yari uh, risks losing a position to Lucas here, and he does. No collisions in turn one yet. There's a bit of uh, spinning going on down the field, but Jari side by side with Lucas in the S's. Fox gets a five second penalty. Uh, Jari has to give that one up as Lucas barges his way past. Uh, Kiko down to P4 now, though. He started P2. And uh, that's a good start for Danny, getting away a sixth, tenth gap now out front. And Justin is very close on the back of Copy. So is the Alpine of Remain, who looks to go for a dive bomb into the hairpin, but he can't. In fact, he's been targeted by Loth himself, who's gone for the audacious move. I saw that from Samim yesterday on myself. Yenab uh, up into P5. I think that's where he started, but his teammate Adesi has dropped all the way down to P10. There is Meepo, who's uh, having a go on Lof and Adesi, as we say that. And uh, the Red Bull of Icewind, who's already up into P13 after starting at the back of the grid. Likewise with the teammate McKenna, who's up in 16th. Adesi is losing positions like a fly. I wonder if he's got damage, because he's uh, started P7 and he's been span round. And that's going to add to his woes, as he's all the way down in P17 now. So that's the, the worst start possible for uh, Adesi as Tino gets past Kebab. Icewind up into P12 past his fellow countryman uh, Tunari. But it's Danny who leads the race. Let's have a quick look at tyres if we get the chance. Everyone, uh, no we don't, copy up the inside of Yenab. Who, Lucas is, was also being attacked by Kiko. But he ha holds on to the position. Take over Babalas because... I might run out of breath. <laughs> Off the side of the track. And he's lost uh, uh, positions. But as we know with Meepo, he's very good on the dive bomb. And he gets it done. He's back up into P10. Although Loft wants to keep fighting this. There's so much action on the track. Pebby and Remain up ahead. Side by side too. There comes Icewind. Up the inside looking to get involved in this little scrap going on between the two Ferrari powered cars. And Icewind nice is going to go up the inside. This is wonderful racing from these three. And Icewind, is he going to get two moves done in one? He almost gets pushed off the track. Does well to keep it in the right direction. He's up to P11. And he's got Meepo in his sights up next. Icewind is absolutely ruthless at this race start. He's been oh! tagged. And he's span oh, round. No. And all his work has been undone. Oh, someone's off. It's Lucas. Lucas has span, I think, and uh, he's lost many positions down to P9, and that promotes everyone else. Kiko into the pit, so all of a sudden, this race has come to life, as uh, he all want to get the undercut on the top two, and hopefully emerge in front of them, which he should. Remain now, very close, as he comes out the pit lane to uh, copy. Tino yet to pit, up into P11. No, he's fighting for P10 now, look at this! This is a good battle, side by side. Can't get it done, although Remain does have colder tyres. They're probably up to temperature by now, you would imagine. Uh, Tino is going to be all over the back of him into this hairpin. And he's all alongside him now. Kiko past Fox. He gets past some of the traffic, but he is losing time, which isn't going to help his race. Tino past Remain. But what can Remain do is he's going to fight that back. This is not what he wanted. Um, because Justin was in a battle with him and he can't really lose any time because when Justin pits, he might come out ahead on the faster tyre, which would be the worst result possible for the Alpine. If there's a slow Tino in Rome, what a fight. We are and side by side between Yenab and Pemi as well. In the S's, we don't see this too very often going side by side. Such high speed corners. Cold tyres for Pemi. Uh, Yenab as well. There we go. So we have this. Oh! Remain a span! And he hasn't got any damage, but he's uh, off the track. And he's going to have to settle for P10. Fair. Yeah, exactly. Right now, if they do the race, uh, calmly uh, keep their pace and don't uh, get any more penalties. Because right now, if Kiko goes to 3.1, he's very close to getting the second place. Yeah, and if these two are fighting for the lead on the last couple of laps, Kiko could close that gap pretty quickly. 
and potentially snatch a win. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, Adesi still yet to pit. Yellow flags. That is Remain. Span again. Oh, there's a bit of a battle here going on to turn one. Uh, Icewind up the inside of Remain after he was overtaken by Tunari himself. Side by side through the S's once again. And Remain has to give another place up down to P15. So after that spin, he was up in the points, getting a good haul. But, uh, and the copy he's all is uh, threatened by Pimi. Down to the straight of the DRS room. No Yaris though. He's gonna dive? No. He's gonna play safe. And Tino is ahead. I does it too. Oh. But he's going for it. Oh, love is good. Oh, nearly. Nearly span. <laughs> oh, and he has span himself. <laughs> oh, Danny, very close. He's going to take the lead into turn one, is he? He's he gone he a bit deep, this. but he's uh, ahead and he stays ahead. Both on to 30% now. And Danny is back in the yeah. lead of the race where he was at the start. Oh, uh, Yari, has he got a chance on Danny? He has. He's going down the inside. They're side fighting side by side. The two championship protagonists. Uh, it's like the good old days. Nico Rosberg versus Lewis Hamilton. This reminds me of as uh, the two McLaren drivers side by side. What a battle this is. Jari knew it was the penultimate lap. If he didn't get it, the lap uh, on the last lap, he has to get it on this one still side by side. And this is wonderful. Jari just ahead. But what's going to happen? Surely they don't crash and lose a 1-2. Uh, Yari goes deep. But he keeps the position. But now Danny has DRS. We're on to the final lap. Let's stay with this battle all the way. On board with Danny at the moment. On the start, finish straight. The race has come alive here on the final lap. He pulls out. He doesn't see an opportunity. Maybe he does. He's just saving it for the back straight. He doesn't want to be overtaken again. We may see a repeat of this. Of what we saw last lap on this one on the final lap and what a finish that would be babalas <laughs> i'm gonna wait until the end of the drs zone from uh, where the uh, <laughs> end of the sector uh, two is then we'll, we will say because uh yari has 10 8 percent six percent drs and then he has 25. so this is the straight that uh, Everything will be revealed. Yeah, so uh, this could decide the race here. Already four tenths, three tenths. Make that into the twos now. Yari's going to sail. No, Danny's going to sail past Yari, who's got 0% ERS now. He dives bomb all he can. He's got to keep his shape. He has to make sure that he doesn't spin out or anything like that in frustration. I don't think he's got a chance of getting back past Danny now. Uh, although he goes a Danny, bit deep. Danny. Let's see what happens. Danny has more ERS anyways. He's about 12%. Yeah. And as they come across the line, oh, Jari has Jari span. Jari has span. What's going to happen with Kiko? Is he going to get into three seconds? He is. He already is. Kiko, is he going to get P2? I think he is. 2.8, 2.5. Danny crosses the line for a famous victory. That's a wonderful end to the race for him, getting past his teammate. Tino past Copy, but Kiko gets the P2. So unexpected. We said Jari couldn't spin, and he did just that. What an end to the race. And uh, it's not over yet, as Copy is on the back of Tino. Tino's going to drop due to penalties. Where is everyone going to finish? Because Meppo down to P10 already with nine second penalty. Now, I imagine he'll be around P13 or 14. Copy gets up into P7 as we expected with the penalties. Tino down to P9. Meepo P10. But that's going to change when others cross the line, is it? Not with Icewind, it's not. What about Tunari? <laughs> no. And what about Loth? No. So, Meepo gets... A miraculous point, but that was a brilliant race, and uh, that mistake from Jari could be costly in the championship.